What's going on guys, Lifty Zombies here, back with another Pogo video, and in today's video guys, we are talking about some more leaks, alright? So yeah, we do have some leaks regarding the next season of the game, and a lot of these leaks guys are very, very exciting, okay? So, the source this is coming from guys, is coming from the same person that did leak the C days of the Slowpoke, uh, Poliwag, Classic Squirtle, and the Froki. So all of that did come true. So I would imagine this is probably going to come true as well. But take it with a grain of salt because again, it's not confirmed information, but it is that same source that did get those C days correct. So more than likely, this should be correct too, but they could maybe switch out some stuff. It is possible for some last minute de decisions, but again, most of this should be legit, all right? So the first thing I wanna get into, guys, is what is the next C-Day Pokemon after Froakie? So yeah, we're talking about September. What will the September C-Day be? Well, according to this leak, it will be a new, a brand new shiny Pokemon family. We are talking about shiny Grubbin, yes, the red shiny Grubbin will be making its shiny debut in Pogo next month for an upcoming Community Day event. So yeah, this shiny family, as you guys see, it's pretty nice, bro, it's pretty nice. And I think the full stage evolution is pretty good in PvP as well. So yeah, this should be a pretty decent C-Day. I'm definitely down for this C-Day, guys. It's a brand new shiny family, so you know, that's a W in my book. So I will take this for uh, the September C day. So that is leak number one. Getting on to leak number two. Do remember, I made a video about this too that Gen 9 Pokemon will be dropping next season in the game. They will be dropping in waves, it seems. You know, every so often they will be dropping a brand new Gen 9 Pokemon. I would imagine at first, the first wave will be the starters, but soon after that, we will get a few other Pokemon too. So we're still talking about, I believe, the month of September here. There should be a Festival of Lights event, which we've had numerous times before in the game, at least like three, four times before in the game. So this will be returning again this year, which I think this event before has dropped Shiny Dedenne. It's also dropped non-Shiny Dedenne as well. It made the debut of that Pokemon. But this year, it's going to be debuting a Gen 9 Pokemon, and that is going to be Tadbulb. Yes, Tadbulb will be dropping with the Evolution Belly Bolt as well. These are one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon from Paldea. So yeah, this will be pretty exciting to get to for the Festival of Lights event. A brand new Gen 9 Pokemon. I love Belly Bolt. So yeah, this will be very, very exciting too, guys. Now we're still talking about September. Another returning event is coming in the month of September. The Psychic Spectacular event. I believe, I'm pretty sure this event last year did debut Shiny Elgium. All right, so yeah, Shiny Elgium was a brand new Shiny featured, featured a bunch of other Psychic type Pokemon, like, you know, like Abra, Drowsy, other Pokemon like that. So for this year, it will be dropping a new Shiny again too. Now, this one's kind of long overdue. Yes, guys, Shiny Solosis is dropping four this event. So yeah, I'm super excited for finally getting Shiny Solosis in the game. This one's long overdue in my book, so I can't wait. So this will be in the month of September as well. So September, off the rip, two new Shiny families. Three stages too. Uh, again, the Grubbin and Solosis. So this is exciting as well. September is already looking pretty good. Now apparently there also will be a research day for the month of September too. Now this one to me, is not that crazy because I did just complete the shiny family on my account. Uh, so the research day will be for shiny Oddish. All right, so not the most hyped research day ever. I, I, I will probably still play it because it is good for going for a good IV shiny since it's gonna be in field research. Good chance for a Shundo as well. So I will still play it, but again, I do have the Shiny family complete. I'm done. I'm done with the Shiny Oddish. I don't need any more, but that will be getting a research day in September as well. So again, September is pretty stacked. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So yeah, September is pretty good. Now let's talk about some stuff in the month of October. October C-Day. What's it going to be? I was hoping for Yam Mask C-Day, which featured the Gen 5 Yam Mask and the Galar Yam Mask. I thought that would be fire. I thought that would be super, super sick. 
but it's not even gonna be a ghost type it's gonna be a fighting type timber timber will be getting a c day which i am down for i have been wanting a timber c day i don't have any shiny timber by the way so i am happy that it is getting a c day it's a pretty uh similar situation to shinx it's pretty much like that same type of pokemon where it's only been available from egg hatches before and now it's getting a full-on c day for the month of october so yeah that is the october c day timber honestly not that bad guys and a lot of people were expecting a timber c day sometime this year so yeah you were correct if you guys were expecting that also in october there will be a brand new type of event harvest festival this will be debuting another gen 9 pokemon Smoliv. So yeah, this whole family, which I believe is three stages, Smoliv will be dropping from Paldea in Pogo in the month of October. So that's pretty sick. Brand new type of event. I'm down. Uh, pretty cool Pokemon. Now also for October, the Hatch Day returns. Do remember we just had our first ever Hatch Day event in this game, and that was for Riolu. And the shiny rate was super boosted. I think it was about 1 in 10 shiny rate. Getting shiny Riolu was not a hard task. So Hatch Day is coming back for the Pokemon Azuril. Azuril is getting a Hatch Day, so if you guys don't have the shiny green Azuril, you guys can go for it and easily get it in the month of October. I was hoping for a Mime Junior Hatch Day, but maybe we'll get that sometime in the near future. We'll see. But also in October, but it also could be in November. I don't think there is any solidified info about it. It could be October, it could be November. I would say probably November for this. Classic C-Day Returns. But who's going to feature this time? It's going to feature Mareep, guys. Mareep is getting a Classic C-Day. This would not be my first choice. I was hoping maybe Beldum Bagon, but yeah, it is going to be a Mareep Classic C-Day more than likely in the month of November. But what is the regular November C-Day gonna be? I don't think you're ready for this one, guys. It is gonna be a Wooper Community Day in November, and it will be featuring both forms. So yeah, Paldea Wooper and the Shiny and the Evolution Clod Sire should be debuting as well for a Wooper C Day in the month of November. And that is going to wrap up the leaks today, guys. So yeah, man, let me know in the comment section below. What are you most excited for? Is it the Shiny Paldea Wooper? Is it Small of Debut? Is it Tadpold? Is it the Oddish Research Day? Let me know. For me, I don't even know, man. I am pretty psyched for the Shiny Grubbin. I do like that Shiny family quite a bit, and uh, I love playing Sea Days, so it might be that for me, but we'll see. But comment below what you guys are most excited for. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.